This week's Music Monday is the You Kiss Edition. <laughs> that was awesome, wasn't it? Well, this isn't just the UKIS edition, this is also the UKIS Autograph CD Giveaway Edition. So stick around to the end of this video to find out how you can win. For starters, let's just say how much I love this song because this is totally up my alley. It's much better than Believe in Dora Dora, in my opinion. The lead into the chorus is fantastic, and the harmonies in the chorus are just awesome. Even the rapping, which we usually complain about most of the time in K pop songs, actually fits quite perfectly. Rather than having the rapping sequence constrained to just one part of the song, Eli surprised us in a good way by popping in throughout the entire song. Start to finish, this is consistently solid, one of the best Yukis songs ever. We're also really happy to see that Yukis has grown, not only in their song style, but also their video style, as they are no longer homeless. Yay! Yukis are finally indoors with proper shelter. Time for a Yukis housewarming party. <laughs> shouldn't make that open to the public. Could be some issues there. But having a new place, this is something we could totally relate to. We just moved into our new apartment and we're a bit too busy to actually decorate it or get any, you know, furniture. Though we did just get a couch on Thursday. We still don't have a table for the kitchen yet. And Martina banned me from holding the laptop after what I did last week. You Kiss, it seems, understands the difficulties of moving to a new place. They got a new house, but they need to get some stuff, like furniture, maybe an appliance or two. You can see them dancing in front of their moving boxes here. The lights barely work, they need some light bulbs. I mean, really, light bulbs are the last thing you think of when you're packing up to move to a new place. Plus, they're trying to make sure they remember to pack everything, and, and in the rush to move, Dongho even forgot to pack one of the sleeves to his jackets. I know it, you know, it happens sometimes. That's never happened to me before. But they did end up getting some furniture. Kiss up got quite possibly the strangest and least comfortable looking chair ever. Might I recommend getting a $5 cushion to go with it. As well, he's got a really low quality lamp that barely even turns on. Eli though did a really great job of getting a really nice leather single seater and he even showed off his arts and crafts skills by converting a birdcage into a floor lamp. Hoon made sure to get a chandelier. Good for romancing the ladies. And Kevin went ahead and got a giant chest piece. I could just imagine how their moving day went. Okay, one more time. You got a... Chest piece. Yes, giant chest piece. Got that. Just... just one. Yep. And we're supposed to sit on this chess piece? No, it's art. You just admire it. Can we play chess with it? If you get the rest of the pieces, of course you can. What kind of ridiculous question is that? It's just that the whole set was quite expensive, so I could only afford one. I give you $3,000 to buy furniture for this place, and all you get is a giant chess piece. It, it, it's a knight, though. And? And it's black. So... It's the Dark Knight, don't you get it? It's a Batman reference! It's about time Gotham got the hero that it deserves, not the hero that it needs. Batman. <sighs> Gotham. Justice. Mmm. But no kidding. Cause I'm the Batman. And I talk like this. Get it to you. Hey, at least I didn't buy a stupid $3,000 hat like Dong Ho did. My hat isn't stupid, you're stupid, you're just jealous I have a girlfriend, you don't! Oh, oh, Dong Ho, for the last time, downtown isn't real! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry man, that was harsh. I'm sorry, come on, group hug. Side note, it could just be me and one of the most major parts of my childhood speaking here, but please tell me I'm not the only one who can't help but think of Sailor Moon when I hear the chorus. Stop, girl, and in the name of love, I will punish you! By the way, if I had to pick, Suhyun definitely would make a badass Sailor Jupiter. And of course, Hello, my name is Sailor Hoon! Hoon, make this happen for Halloween. And more a tuxedo mask? Maybe, but I don't know if he has it in him. Otherwise, besides some impractical choices for furniture, we don't really have anything major to complain about in this video. Yes, it is you kiss dancing in oddly furnished and oddly lit rooms, but we thought the background settings with the black and white theme were very nicely combined, and I loved almost everyone's costume. Just that, that hat it needs to be destroyed. Oh, 
I'm sorry, your wild messy hair is fine, but that, that hat and that seaweed is just, no. I especially loved Eli's awesome outfit, from shoe to suit to tie to the awesome hairstyle. It was an amazing combination. Well, isn't this scandalous indeed? There was a lot of interaction with the opposite sex, which is something we rarely get in K-pop videos. From Kevin's sexy, touch me, don't touch me, no touch me, don't touch me dance, to Soohyun's foursome. <laughs> I love the additional female dancers. They actually added to the meaning of the song. Since it's about being conflicted in your relationship, should I stay or should I go? You see a bit of like pushing and pulling in this dance and that makes sense. So I'm really quite impressed by the choreography. The main dance sequence, however, kind of reminds me of a success dance I would do with one of my girlfriends. Ah. Ha. Ha, 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 ha. Hi girlfriend. Hi girlfriend. Oh my God, you'll never believe what I got for us. Oh. You're gonna just die. Tell me all the details. Ah! We're gonna see so many K-pop groups and I heard that ah. gross couple Simon and Martina are gonna be there. Ew. No, it was not coming. I, I meant like gross. Celebration dance! But not quite as lame as that because the ugly one is not really one of my girlfriends. I'm not ugly, I'm exotic. Yes. As for the English of the song, I'm gonna give this a five out of five. It's actually quite good. You Kiss now down to two fluent English speakers now that AJ is taking a break from the band to study, still are quite good at English even if the math in their lyrics has significantly dropped. AJ though, I will continue to wear the shirt in your honor. But the English is better than just some random words thrown in there. Even the tears in my eyes telling me goodbye is pretty impressive as we don't really see rhyming of English in a song, let alone two syllables being rhymed in a song. That's impressive and for that I give you a five out of five. Last week we asked you to vote for the creepiest many guys with one girl in the house edition. FT Island's I Wish or Infinite's Paradise and Paradise won by almost 2,000 votes. Yes, I think lying on the ground while a girl is above you not wearing any pants is a little bit creepy. For this week's showdown, I'm not gonna ask you a question. You kiss our. For this week's showdown, whose part did you prefer? Mine? Or mine. Huh? Mine? <laughs> mine? Mine? Eli's? It was definitely mine. No, I'm mine. sure it was mine. I'm sure the fans will vote for me. Oh god! It's the Elven battle! Who will win? Leave your votes in the comments and we'll announce a fanfic winner next week. No, but seriously, that Elven fanfic stuff is quite weird. Also, if there's a video you want to see us do for next week's Music Monday, will G-Dragon's Crayon regain first place or will TVXQ come to snatch it up? Head on over to ichikimchi.com slash kpopcharts and get voting. Yes, we posted the behind the scenes footage as well as the interview footage with Yukis, and we got an awesome response from you guys. So we plan on giving away more copies of the Yukis autograph CDs. We're getting more than we expected and we're doing a giveaway for this week's Music Monday as well. So if you want to win, here's what you got to do. For our YouTube subscribers, you better be subscribed by now. Click here if you haven't. Let us know in the comments what was your favorite part of the Yukis Stop Girl video. For our Facebook followers, head on over to the contest thread, the God does thread only. And answer the question there. For our Twitter followers, all you gotta do is click on this button right here to retweet the link. It's that easy. We'll pick three lucky winners and announce them in next week's K-Pop Music Monday bloopers. So make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned. Lastly, don't forget to like and favorite this video and to subscribe for more Music Mondays. Take it away, Sailor Spudgy.